Welcome to another edition of Armageddon. It's the best thing the chess club ever does. Okay, so we have two players tied in the millionaire chess satellite. Ashwin Jaram and international master Priyadarshan Kanapan. They both finished the event four and a half out of five. As you might recall from last year, Ashwin is returning to another Armageddon match. Last time he had a match against Jake Kleiman, and let's just say he got the trip to Vegas, okay? Well, let's just leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. All right, Ashwin, uh, he won the event on tie breaks, so he gets his choice. He can either take white in six minutes and must win the match to go to Vegas, or take the black pieces and have uh, four minutes and draw odds, meaning he could win the match or just take a draw. Just so there's no confusion, if I see a threefold repetition or uh, the same position three times or uh, I count to 50, I will declare the game a draw. Okay? So, Mike. Yes. Does illegal move lose? Illegal moves do lose. And that includes uh, putting a pawn on the back row and hitting the clock. Okay. All right. So without further ado, Ashwin, what is your choice? Uh, black pieces. He's taking the black pieces. All right. Oh, that is touch move, right? It is yeah. touch move. <laughs> Obviously, if you have no legal move with a piece you touch, you are not required to move it. All right, gentlemen, go ahead and uh, start the clock, Ashwin.
Congratulations to International Master Fred Archer Canapan. Now the big question is, do you really want to accept the prize? <laughs> I think it's alright. All right, let's go to Vegas. Alright. Well, it feels great because last year I came like super close and I played with the same open Ashwin in the final round. I had to win. Uh, to qualify, but I lost, so he got a chance to play the Armageddon and qualify. So it was like a disappointment last year. This kind of, I thought, you know, it makes up that now I bet him in Armageddon and I qualified this year. I haven't played one in official capacity or an unofficial capacity. So this was my first Armageddon ever, and this was also a pretty interesting Armageddon. I was hoping today morning when I woke up, I was thinking this is most probably going to be, there is an Armageddon. Generally, they do by like, you know, you write down the time between both the players and which are the lowest. I even had a specific time in my mind which I should be writing. Because in the morning, I was pretty sure I'll be, there will be an Armageddon and I'll be there. I was pretty sure about that. And I was close to be bidding around four minutes and two seconds if there was such an option. So I was slightly mentally prepared for Armageddon. So I think that helped me a bit. But obviously, uh, Ashwin is more experienced than me because he played last year's Armageddon. So yeah, I was pretty nervous.
I was like really motivated to win this and and especially as I'm now looking to improve my feed rating as I'm going for my GM title. Millionaire Open is a feed rated event and I can play all these super GMs, everyone who's playing there. So it'll be a great opportunity for me. That was like the main motivator for me so that I can play all these GMs and try to score well. And this year when I saw the pre-registration list, I saw already now Karwana name and like Nakamura. So it's like this, this event is much bigger than the previous year. So this is getting much better every year. I think it gives chance for uh, technically non-professional players. I, I would say people you know, who are less than 2600 rating, it gives them a chance to win huge prize money, which is uh, just a big thing because chess has always been a sport where uh, extremely high rated players win a lot of money and then people lesser than that uh, maybe get max $1,000. If they win a tournament, but this tournament gives them a chance to win like forty thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars. So it's a really cool thing that chess players can also, if if they hit the jackpot, I mean, it motivates them to work even harder. During the last year interview, I told that it would be great if they had more satellite tournaments, and I know that this year they had uh, tournaments in Africa, and so it's getting much better. I was like really happy because last year the only satellite was St. Louis and there was no other satellite tournaments from Illinois Open this year. I saw the 3-4 in Africa being conducted by Cash Projects Foundation. Yeah, so I hope there's like more and more satellites in coming years and more and more participation in Millionaire Open. Special thanks to uh, Grandmaster Maurice Ashley for uh, helping us put on such a great event and uh, hopefully Priya Darshan uh, will uh, do wonders in Vegas. All right.